staying on the internet where everybody wants you to go on a date with I Pete mean, Davidson. I mean, he's dated so many women, and he's sort of cute. Could Martha Stewart and Pete Davidson be Hollywood's next it couple? He's sort of cute. He's like my lost son. Yeah, sorry, internet. Martha says not so much. It's all in fun. On Tuesday, the lifestyle experts stopped by the Drew Barrymore show and weighed in on fans who want her to date the Saturday Night Live alum. After giving Pete and his tattoos a hypothetical dating green flag. Your date has as many tattoos as Pete Davidson. <laughs> green flag, red flag, yellow flag. Uh-huh. I knew it. I knew it, Martha, you minx. I knew it. Put a bet money in Vegas on that one. Okay, your date is Pete Davidson. I knew it, I knew it. The unlikely duo went viral after they were pictured holding hands at the White House Correspondents' Dinner earlier this year, where Pete was in attendance with his then-girlfriend, Kim Kardashian. He's dated so many women. So what? No, I'm not saying that's bad. I think that's good. And he's sort of cute. Everybody loves him. And she's not wrong. In fact, back in April, Kim and her famous family revealed what they love most about the comedian. What do you love about him? What's your favorite thing about him? He's just super genuine. Yeah. And it's just really fun to just hang out and do nothing <laughs> and watch TV and just do nothing. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. That's the goal, is yeah. finding someone to do nothing with. It's yeah. the best. because you And don't do want... everything with. Totally, just but like it's easy errands. to be distracted with people. Yes, you can be with anyone so distracted, but you can't be with anyone and do nothing. But back to Martha. Hang out with younger people. That's another secret, is to hang out with younger people. Turns out, she actually knows Pete. He was on the beaver roast with me. Do you remember? Yes. He was this little twerp on the beaver roast. <laughs> he was even twerpier than Bieber. <laughs> well, I, I got to say. He was also very cute, by the way. Yeah, the two met back in 2015 during Comedy Central's Justin Bieber roast. I'm talking about a playa in the boardroom and a freak in the bedroom. <laughs> It's first of all, everybody in the world wants to see this kid get roasted. And, you know, he's been f***ing up a little bit, so this will make people like him again. And Martha, she's a fan. But everybody speaks about Pete Davidson in such a positive way. Like, he has to be a good guy. Oh, he is a good guy. He's a very good guy. And he knows, <laughs> he knows how to get in and get out. <laughs> well, green. <laughs> But Martha says fans who are shipping the two shouldn't hold their breath. He's open to, you know, age is not a thing for him. <laughs> saying. He's like, he's like my lost son. Okay, so meet Martha and Pete, not gonna be a thing. But this isn't the only hot take the TV personality has dished out lately. I don't feel my age, I don't look my age, I don't act my age. Martha made an appearance on last week's episode of The Kardashians and weighed in on Tristan Thompson's cheating scandal during a chat with Chloe, keeping it short and sweet. I don't read and watch all this stuff, so do you have a husband? I don't. Oh, okay. I don't. I just broke up with my daughter's dad oh. a little bit ago. He had a baby with someone else while we were together. Oh, that's not nice. We had to kick him out. That's not <laughs> nice. That's not nice. <laughs> that is not nice. It's, it's not, it was very naughty. God.